The patient man or woman wins. The patient person wins. Yes, my strategy is buy and hold. I do other things, but my strategy is buy and hold. Why? Because to me, that's the equivalent of having a good jab in boxing. Right? If you, if you, if you fight a boxer with a great jab, his, his or her odds of winning is always good. Right? Because the jab keeps you at the distance, and the jab also is a great offense. Right? So a great now if you fighting a box with a great jab, that's cons like if you fighting a box with a great jab, it's hard for you to beat them because the jab keeps you at bay. The jab always makes you like reset. The jab always makes you, you know what I'm saying? So for me, thank you. I say great call to CMG for sure. Um, so for me, buy and hold is the equivalent to me having a great jab. Right? The great jab is going to get you to the 12th round. And you, if, even if you lost, you may lose, you know, through technicalities or through, you know, point system. But the great jab, gonna, it's going to be hard for that person to beat you. Right? So for me, buy and hold is the equivalent to me having a great jab in investing. It, no, it, I don't care what else I'm doing. I got that jab always out there. And I'm throwing 60, 70 jabs around. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, uh, Ian, man, my brother, my brother, I appreciate everything about you, King. If y'all don't know about Ian, y'all slipping. If y'all know about Red Panda, man, holla at my guy, man, for sure. Futures expert, stock market genius. Listen to what I said. Futures expert, stock market genius. <laughs> yeah, man, for real. Um, so, and that's what I think. I think before people get into other things, they need to learn. Before you get into learning how to throw the hook in an upper cup, you need to learn how to have a great jab because the great jab is sustainable. Um, and I think the same things comes with investing. Before we get into all of these other things, we need to get into learning how to long-term invest and evaluate a business. And the more we get into the idea of evaluating a business, the more we get into that, the longer we can play this game. Then we can start getting into other things because we know the actual value. So I think um, so. We talked about we talked about uh, investing in solar, hydro, electronic vehicles. We talked about infrastructure. We talked about emerging markets. Right. These are some of the things we un we un like. And if we look in at what Joe Biden represents, these things are falling in the line. The tail in the script has already. Look what Ian just said. Indiana kicks. Love. Oh, he's talking about something. I thought he said Indy. I was like, didn't we just talk about that in the emerging markets? <laughs> um, so if we look at Biden and what his campaign represents, this is a tall tale of not exactly to what to invest in, but it tells us where we can go and what we're doing. Right? So another thing, let's look at you know the cannabis industry. We understand that Democrats, we understand that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris said that they feel like people shouldn't go to jail for what? Marijuana usage. So what are we looking at? We're looking at, we looking at these, you know, for me is, you know, cannabis grow. You know, not I'm not so much into Aurora cannabis because they have extremely too much debt. Like when I'm looking at new industries, I always want to look at who at the forefront. See? <laughs> Look at Ian say emerging markets are fire. It's just understanding what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So we need to understand that and moving forward, right? And, and, and how we play the game, right? And how we play the game. Um, and new government always brings something new. So let's talk about something else, right? So we know that infrastructure is strong as well. And we know that they said that about cannabis. So that, that's not just look at like, the big dog, like look at some of the things that cannabis company needs to sustain, to be sustainable, right? Somebody, somebody has to do what? Help them grow it, right? So what are they using for fertilizers? What are they using for? Are they renting the land? Are they leasing the land, right? Like we, are they, are they inside of greenhouses? Like all of these things are important for us in learning how to invest, right? Y'all hear the horns? I'm telling you, people going crazy out here. They not since 11 o'clock this morning. And people been blowing them god doggone horns, yo. <laughs> um, so it's always, it's always understanding how that works, right? So let's tap into something else, right? 
health care. I'm telling you, these people, yo, and it's, it's been driving me, yo. I'm not going to lie. All day, I've been wanting to just, like, say, yo, what's your problem? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, these people going crazy behind your body now, yeah, man, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also, let's talk about, um, let's talk about, Thank you. I appreciate the love. Let's focus on trapping the gems. Man, nah, for sure, man. You know, it's all love, Ian, man. I love I love to salute my brothers, man. I love, you know, when my brothers get saluted. I love that because I, I praise y'all all the time, man, because I learn from y'all all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? So also, let's look at, like, what, what else do we know? Like, we also know that no matter who's in office, I've said this before, healthcare always represents 26% of whatever, whatever party is in office. Healthcare represents 26% of the spending, right? So if we know that healthcare is going to represent 26% of the spending, then what did that tell us? That tells us we need to find great healthcare stocks that we can be a part of. Now, here's the thing to that as well, right? So we look two ways, right? So also, if we know that we're in this global pandemic, and we also understand that if we can understand this, if we can look even further ahead and say to ourselves, yo, this may be a new way that people will wage war, right? If we understand that this would be a new way that people will wage war, then now we can even get into more defense, right? Because this, what else do we know? We know that Democrats spend 400 million, 400 billion on what? Defense, right? So now we can tie the two together, healthcare and defense. You feel what I'm saying? So we put those two together. Now we're saying, okay, we found great foundations for what? Our portfolio. Uh, appreciate that, Queen. You already know. You hear me? Um, appreciate that for sure. Um, so that's what I want us to say. I think it's um, Roger. Did I say it right? Roger? <laughs> I think I said it right. Right? And so we look at those things. So what are we talking about with that? Uh, Mike Bunt, man, I appreciate you, family. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to give us information on how to build generation wealth. I'm smiling because five years, five years from now, our portfolios have eight digits. We can point back to you as a catalyst. Oh, man, that's amazing. That's amazing. And, and I'm going to be real. That's what I do it for. Like, I want to be, I want to be associated with people's wealth. It's not about the money right now. It's when I know that you a family who never invested in the stock market in five, six, seven years down the line, and you and your kids got portfolios and custodial accounts, and you be like, man, how you learned that? Man, I remember like seven years ago, man, I was messing with this dude, Trap, you know what I'm saying? And he put us on. And so for that, I'll never be broke. When my name ties to people's wealth like that, I'll never be broke. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's definitely dope.